going on Zamination? It's Sammy here and welcome back guys to a brand new video where today I'm going to be showing you guys a brand new end game layout. But yeah, before we get into the video guys, make sure you guys smash like and subscribe with the notification bell turn on so you never miss another brand new video on the channel. And yeah, you guys wanted another end game layout, so here I am delivering you another end game layout. Let me know anything else you'd like in the comments down below. And a video on the brand new bush plane will be coming soon because you know this thing is really, really cool. But enough of that. Let's go get straight into the video, but a real quick word from our sponsors. If you guys are looking for a safe and simple way to get free Robux, then check out gemsloot.com. Use the link in the description, type in promo code SAMI for an extra Robux boost. I'm going to complete this offer here to get a £50 UBEs gift card. And now what I can do is I can go to the withdraw page and withdraw the amount of Robux I want to. Now I'm ready to withdraw my Robux that I've just earned. I click the game pass which i've just made and click withdraw remember guys check out gemsloot.com in the description or type it in and use promo code sammy right remember to check out gemsloot in the description down below let's go ahead and start building okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start wherever you like on your plot i have the extra land game pass but you won't need that for this video i'm just gonna start my layout here so we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine parking lot the nine parking lots and then you're gonna go another nine parking lots and then of course another nine parking lots and just make sure you have that all around and then on these corners you can also add some more parking lots if you want to i'm gonna do that because i do have the money to be able to they don't have to this is just optional and this will cost just a little bit more right but now what we're going to do is we're going to delete these three parking lots right here and then we're going to add in a tram station oh we need to delete another two more sorry so delete the five in the middle right there and add in your tram station right there it's so now what we're going to do is we're going to place either concrete in the middle this should be an 18 by 18 uh, platform right here so we either have concrete or marble because marble gives you a lot of decoration now me of course i'm going to do marble because first off, I like how it looks and it will be really, really beneficial for us in terms of decoration. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our doors. We're going to add the sliding door and we're going to add one door here, one door right here and another door right here. And then the same on all the other sides. So there should be a three block gap between the window, uh, not the windows, the door, sorry, which where we will place a window. Now that you've done that, you can just go ahead and add in whatever windows you like. I'm going to add in these tall windows. I think they look really, really nice. And yeah, we can get started with our store. Okay, guys. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to place down some self-checkouts. So we're going to place one self-checkout right here and just along pretty much all of the windows. Doesn't matter. Just as long as they're on the windows. And yeah, you want one in every single window. So we should have about eight of them, I think. Yeah. And then smack bang in the middle of the store, we are going to have a fountain. So just go from this door all the way to this door right here. And that will be the middle of your store. Just place that right there. And let's quickly go ahead and check what our decoration is looking like at the moment. That is exactly what we want. It. And now we're just going to place some hanging plant just along the edges of all of these windows or doors, sorry. So pretty much just all around the edge of the store, you want to do that. And that should be our decoration sorted for pretty much the entire store. If you have marble, that is. If you don't have marble, what you can do is you can add some more potty plants on these grey areas. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, but now we need to go ahead and start on the shelving. All right, so we're going to start off with two big two by two floor displays and then a small one by two floor display around it just like that and then you place another two one by two floor displays just along the edge here so it should be all around the fountain pretty much and let's quickly go ahead and stock them up because we're going to do our two large furniture right here and then we're going to go and do all of the small furniture and the one large furniture which is the sofa just on the shelf small shelf sorry all right now we're going to get our one by two floor displays and we're going to go to the corner of these point plants or two away from the nearest register and you're going to do two just like that and then you're going to add two game tables on it i've got a pool table and air hockey table doesn't have to be the exact same and then we're going to repeat this on the other side so two away from my cash register and then another two away from my cash register and then we're going to do the rest of the game tables just on the shelves here Okay, now we're going to go to the middle with the small shelves here and then we're going to go three blocks in front or two blocks in front sorry and place a small shelf right there and then we're going to go three blocks to the left of it and place another one and three blocks to the right of it and place another one right now it should look like this and we are going to add the exercise equipment on them the one two three just like that okay now we're going to get our big two by two displays and go um from this bed or the dining table and you're going to go two out and then place the floor display facing this way so in front so it's not facing the door 
want to face the other way and then the same on the other side as well and now on those shelves we are going to place the exercise equipment and that should be your shelving layout now stuff's looking a bit crammed which it kind of is right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna move this shelf forward right here and i'm gonna put these shelves here back to back so the back to back shelves look way nicer as well so the game tables should be back to back with each other yeah right let me quickly make a space for my manager now whilst we're at it we might as well place the bus station if you have the extra money and you want to place the bus station go ahead and do that you can place one here and just the next one as close as possible and now just at the back wherever you want you want to place down the manager's desk and make sure that they can reach it and then obviously place down a bunch of shelves so right now my storage is really full so i'm just going to do a quick clean of it and by the way guys if you do not want the manager you can just do it yourself you can take this part out but i do like using the manager so i can go afk and stuff right but real quick we're going to place some tiles on the roof obviously add some lights because who doesn't like lights guys and then on the top here we are going to place a helipad like do the helipad or the blimp i have the blimp so i might add the blimp as well but i don't have enough space for it you can just make a quick little extension if you're too fussed about the space or if you don't have a blimp or a helicopter and you want a delivery driver you can just simply place down the door at the side but i obviously have the blimp so i'm gonna add it now you're gonna add the best sign that you can i'm gonna add obviously my big red sign the biggie mart i don't know why i've called it a biggie mart to be honest no it's not a biggie mart anymore it's like a smallie mart but yeah this is what we should have inside of the store and this is looking exceptional guys Okay, let me go over my employees that I have in the store. Okay, so I have zero cashiers, guys, because obviously we use self-checkouts. And I'm going to have four restockers. I'm not going to fire these guys because I like using them for other stores. And they are max level, so I'm just not going to fire them. I have two janitors, one manager, four guards, two delivery drivers, and two finance reps, which I actually need to place, guys. I have not placed a single finance rep. Okay, so the best way to place the finance rep is getting rid of one parking lot and placing down the finance rep through the window so just like this now let me really quickly remove these pot plants as well and yeah since i remove this parking lot here i can place my finance rep desk right here let me really quickly just make sure it is a finance rep desk and you can just put them straight through the door now you want one on that side of the store and one on this side of the store so we're going to get rid of this this parking lot right here and we're just going to simply shift this cash register over and then we're obviously going to add our second finance rep desk now you can do this on all sides of the store but i'm just going to have two because i think two is enough and i'm going to set my delivery driver on the helicopter i actually settled for the helicopter because the blimp was just too big and bulky it didn't look right but obviously if you definitely need to add it then you should go ahead okay but we're going to wait for everything to just fully stock before we open up our doors again everything is looking good so this is what your store should look like if you like to you can section these bits off of walls if you really want to just to stop customers walking so let me show you how you go ahead and do that okay so we're obviously going to get our walls and let me quickly make a nice little pallet for them because this is fun guys building is fun okay, but if you don't want customers walking about you can simply section off your stuff like this pretty much and it might work it might help your crowdness rating i'm not super super sure about it you can just play about with it and see what really works because if you place walls then the customers are sort of guided to walk in a certain place and direction yeah let's go ahead and open up this store guys and yeah let's go the customers should just come straight through i actually don't have a rating at the moment why is that yeah, customers are coming in and they're obviously going to give me the five star rating guys you know me people love my stores i need to actually pause this um cashier it's annoying me this store will be at a constant 4.7 to 5 star rating because it is really really convenient and everything's so close to each other now real quick before you guys get stolen from let's go ahead and place down the cameras and let me show you how you're going to do that okay so you're going to get one dome 180 and place it right here and then on the other side as well place one dome 180 then you're going to get the dome 180 again and place it on each of the game tables right here let's go, let me quickly go into security guard view and then you're going to place a dome 90 covering each of these big uh items right here and then a dome 90 on each of these small exercise equipment just so they don't get robbed doesn't really matter exactly where you place them as long as they are getting covered and i think that is everything you don't have to worry too much about the cameras because everything's so close together you'll only spend a couple thousand on them and before we forget as well let's go ahead and start placing on the bin so let's see where people like to litter we're gonna need one on this wall right here right there seems fine and one on this wall over here 
and then we can place one bin on this part of the cash register on the cash register just like place a bin but there's three tiles on the cash register and then yeah i feel i feel like that would be good let's see just how much we're of the store recovering um play about with it because i feel like this 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 is really good yeah okay this is good we've got one on these two cash registers uh one on these big like equipment things and yeah that's it that's all we really need in the store and we are obviously at the five star rating guys people love the store what can i say now the only thing i was a little bit worried about was the crowdedness because this section right here is pretty crowded i'm not gonna lie but i feel like people are fine let me really quickly see yeah it's a little bit crowded but you know, people are still loving it guys now your parking lots won't fill up all the way because neither do mine but you can probably boost this by it being in a private server because private servers have more capability for one person a big thanks to this guy because i actually saw him in my lobby using my setup and yeah it's really cool to actually see you guys using my setup in game i find that super super cool and yeah huge thank you for being part of the channel every view every like help yeah thank you so much to ddc right here if you ever seen him in game say hello because this is like one of the first people i've actually ever seen using my layouts because i don't play on public servers that much but yeah huge thank you to this guy man yeah guys that was it for this video if you enjoyed please remember to smash like down below and remember to give your janitors a dumpster and obviously smash like and subscribe so you never miss another brand new video on the channel let's even hit 50 likes on this video and then yeah i seriously do appreciate all of you guys watching and enjoying hope you find this one better than the last and then yeah peace out guys catch you all in the next one